Well, today I'm going to uh, tie a fly for you with, I've given it a, a fairly unusual title. It's not a Griffiths gnat. And the reason for that is that uh, uh, some years ago I was having a brilliant time um, catching some good rainbows on dry fly and uh, a, a chap who'd been watching me for some time came over to see what fly I was using and I said well it's it's not a recognised pattern and uh, he had a look at it and he says oh yes it's a Griffiths gnat and uh, he says I normally have some of those but I haven't got any today I says well it's, it's not actually a Griffiths gnat if you look at it but uh, anyway, there was no persuading him. He was totally convinced it was a Griffiths gnat and, and that was that. So uh, at the end of the dressing, I'll put on a comparison to what a Griffiths gnat looks like and what this fly looks like. So I've got some purple tie-in silk, 8O uni thread. I mean... It doesn't have to be purple, I'm sure, but uh, that's what colour I tied the original on, so I'll stick with that. And uh, I'll just work my way down the body and uh, I'll put on a small tail. Uh, any uh, grey fibres will do. You can use those um, micro fibres or whatever they are. Half a dozen or so fibres would be fine. This fly is actually going to be tied on the, like a modified hair stacker. That's where all the fibres from the hackle are on the top of the fly. Now, because this is a size 18 hook, uh, there's not a lot of space to play about with. I was guiding the tail down to the bend. And I'll go back up with the purple nearly, nearly halfway up. Or halfway along the shank. So I've got one of these Whiting's genetic saddle feathers in grizzle. Now the uh, the full capes are quite expensive ranging in anything from £70 to £150. You don't have to buy the full cape you can get a packet with uh, just a few feathers for around about uh, um, £20. And that will do that will do the job quite nicely, because one one feather you can do a few flies with one feather. But if you want to uh, use some cheap jack hackles, unfortunately it won't work this, because this modified hackle stacker. You see, I've just tied a, a loop secured a loop of the tying thread. Now if you use virtually any of the cheap uh, saddle hackles um, and you try and wrap it around this thin thread you'll find they'll snap. Um, there may be there may be is a company that does a, a feather that won't snap but I haven't found it. So I'm just dubbing a little bit of mousy grey fur onto the tying thread. And I've picked up somewhere in the um, packet a little bit of some of its silver glinting. I'll try and remove that. It's amazing how these dubbins and things mix up. Right, so 
you want a little bit of a, a bulge which we've got now then this is the fun part you insert a finger in that loop and try and put a wee bit of tension on and then you're helicoptering this hackle around the fibers. Now at first as you start winding it'll be a complete mess. The fibers will go all over the place. Don't let that bother you. Go back over what you've just wound stage you can let go and actually let go of the uh, the bit that you've been stacking do two or three turns there and wind back to the eye Nip that off. Now this is another awkward bit. You want to sweep the fibres away. And do two or three turns to secure. Now if you pull it. It'll move into position or should move into position. Now, rotate the, uh, the flies so that you have access to the, to the eye. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to put a, a half hitch One, three will do it. Pull them all tight. Right, that's about the the worst looking one I've ever made of these, but never mind. Anyway, um, as you can see when it's compared to the Griffiths Nat, all your hackle fibres are on the uh, on the top of the hook and none at the bend masking the uh, the gape of the hook from securing on a on the fish and uh, I would normally finish off this with a tiny drop of vineyards uh, varnish on here but I haven't brought any down so uh, we can imagine I've just done that Anyway, the way my hands are bouncing about at the moment, that varnish could go anywhere. But uh, that's a little fellow. So, anyway, give it a go yourself. It really does work well, especially in this small size of 18s and 16s. Bye for now.